welcome back to my channel it's beauty with lala so today was my first day of school which was terrible because i cried all the way there and all the way back um but if you're feeling the same way i'm feeling i hope this video brings you a little bit of joy today we're going to be doing a first impression swatches and review of the new star trek makeup collection so i hope you guys enjoy if you do like and subscribe so the whole idea for this collection is that mac decided to celebrate the 50 years of star trek and i just think that's i don't know just a really fun and interesting way to kind of put sci-fi and makeup together because you know there's some sci-fi lovers out there that are girls or guys and they like to wear or collect makeup um so yeah i appreciate that i like sci-fi movies i like the new star trek movies um i'm not like an avent fan i'm not like woo i've seen all the episodes but you know i like it enough that i bought the collection these are the boxes that the lipsticks and the lip glosses come in Oh my gosh, my cat decided to jump on my vanity. Anyway, before I got interrupted, so these are the boxes that the lipsticks and the lip glosses come in. Very pretty. I know I'm probably going to sound like a hoarder, but I'm going to keep these boxes even if I never see them again. Maybe one day I'll find them and it'll make me happy. I don't know. So they just have a little Star Trek logo with the 50 years on it. And also, there's more. But wait, there's more, like an infomercial. The inside of all the boxes have like a very aluminum-esque kind of silver packaging on the inside with the logo. So I just thought that that was like a pretty touch and I really appreciate that from MAC. Look who decided to join me again! These are the lip glosses that I got. I got Pleasure Planet and Warp Speed Ahead. Now, Pleasure... Pleasure, but it's a gold lip gloss and it's basically clear on the lips but it has gold shimmer in it which I think is really pretty and also the formula you know let's be real for a second I'm not the hugest lip gloss person I do like wearing lip gloss like every now and again I don't hate it but I'm not like all about it but these are actually pretty nice they're not sticky they're not gloopy they're not bunching up all over your lips so you know maybe if you like Star Trek and you want to get the glosses I would advise it I mean why not and the formula really isn't that bad it's like their normal kind of lip glass formula the next lip gloss that I got was warp speed ahead now this one is amazing it's so pigmented for a lip gloss it's beautiful and the color is stunning because it has like a purple base to it but it has blue shimmer in it which the contrast between between the blue and the purple really kind of stand out with each other i just love it i love it now for the lipsticks i got live long and prosper which is a frost lipstick or llap and then i got where No Man Has Gone Before, which is a luster. Now, honestly, I really can't tell too much of a difference between the formula. I feel like the frost one might be a little bit more pigmented than the luster. That's just my opinion. Live Long and Prosper is a gorgeous... Ew, there's a cat hair on it. So, this lipstick is such a pretty color. I'll swatch it for you right here. These colors aren't going to be like... Bam, super pigmented. They're obviously more, all of these are all on the frosty side. This whole collection is very glittery, very frosty. So I think that's very interesting because I think, you know, the whole metallic kind of lipstick and everything like that is very in right now. So I personally really like it. And I think the whole Star Trek theme kind of seamlessly pulls it all together. This color is a very pretty, almost like a rose gold gold color it's a very wearable shade probably the most wearable shade out of this whole collection and these lipsticks are amazing they're just like their regular lipsticks you don't have to worry about the formula being a little janky it applies smoothly it's pretty pigmented for what it is and I mean these on top of any kind of other lipsticks gorgeous the other one I got which is where no man has gone before 
this one is so pretty look at that they're both very metallic -y, very shimmery this one is definitely more on the pink side so I mean these two are probably the most wearable colors out of the collection this one is super duper pretty I mean I feel like this one you could pull it off for an everyday look it's a very pretty pink with almost like a gold kind of shimmer to it when the light catches it it's very pretty the final verdict of the MAC Star Trek collection is that I thoroughly really enjoy this collection if you're into Star Trek or even if you're into just collecting makeup I think it's a really fun and kind of interesting makeup collection I think the colors are really out there and you know if you want to try something different why not? And I mean, the prices aren't too bad. The lipsticks are $18 and the lip glosses are $17. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.